Welcome back you guys. We are going to style the office. Me and Josh just recently moved into this new apartment last minute and we had no idea that we were gonna have an extra room. So with that extra room, since I work from home, we decided to turn this into an office space and I could not love it any more than I do. But <laughs> I'm so excited to show you this entire process. But first off, I gotta go back to the very beginning. We went to Ikea and we had a blast at Ikea. Our whole mission going into Ikea was to look for a desk, so we tried not to get too distracted, but how do you not get distracted in Ikea? Over here, or even above the desk right there. Yeah. Okay, so we're sitting here and we've been plotting and we've been trying to figure out what exactly to get, and we should have done this before coming. But we are looking at the make your own desk right now and we're going back and forth, back and forth because we both like a certain type of leg but it's the most expensive leg because we have too expensive of taste. But we can't afford that. So we're trying to figure out like what sizing too. Like we didn't measure before we left. So now we're going back through and trying to figure everything out. But this has been us camping out in multiple spots. So we had two options for a desk. We were gonna build your own desk. One option had a cool wood top with a adjustable leg and then the other option had a more plain top but with this really cool leg. The first option came out to be $159 and then option B was $179 and we ended up camping out in Ikea for who knows how long. I think people thought we were crazy. We looked back and forth, we went through our options, but we ended up choosing option B, which I was obsessed about. It was a little bit more expensive, but I think it's well worth it. We just got back from Ikea after a long amount of time of waiting and one, we got this cute little plant and we're trying to figure out a name for it. Josh thinks the name should be Sir Plants. The only name I could think of was Fred or Bob. Josh is such a better name, but I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. But look how cute. It's a little aloe vera plant. And then we bought this planter in there too. And we did get the desk. After a lot of sitting, I think people thought we were crazy because we literally camped out a desk in there to talk. I was the most indecisive person when it came to this. We ended up getting a medium sized desktop and then these kind of like draft style table legs for the desk. And then this is gonna be the first accessory. And the other day we did get from Target though, a little lamp. So I'll have to see if the lamp goes with the whole aesthetic. Then we have a couch, like a portion of our sectional. So we have a black couch, we have this now, and we have the plant that is to be determined the name. So after we finished up with Ikea, we ended up going to Home Goods the following day and this was all the final details that we needed to finish this little home office. We ended up pulling, we had one of our sectionals that we couldn't fit in our last apartment in my parents' garage. And finally today, we have the opportunity to bring that sectional here so that it can be a part of your office space. So right now the office looks crazy, but today we're gonna hang up some of this stuff. We're also gonna move this sectional against the wall. We're gonna make the desk area all cute. We're gonna rearrange the whole room. We're gonna figure out where to put this sectional. Oh, this is like arts and crafts stuff. Okay, this is what we're dealing with at the moment. This is the space where we think we're gonna put the couch. And then we have all this decor that we got. Okay, so I've had this pillow and it's just been sitting. I've had this pillow. It has this tan look to it that kind of goes with the wood thing that we have. We have a lot of tans in this room. Here's what I got from Home Goods yesterday. So one, one of the cutest things before I show you anything, this is non-necessity, but it says Florida has a little heart and it was only $4.99. And I was like, you know what? This would be a cute little accessory. I, for some reason, think this is like one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Don't know why I do, but it just makes me feel like home. And then, you're being so happy. So 
started. There, I'm done. Okay. But then we got to this giant, giant erase board, and it matches the wood that is in the IKEA desk. And I was like, okay, that's too good not to pass up. And also, when we were in Marshalls, I saw this mirror, and it had the same wood as the bottom too. And I was like, wow, how cool is this? This was only thirty bucks though at Marshalls, and I was like, okay, too good of an opportunity to pass up. So I think we're gonna put this over the desk, and then I think we're gonna put the board like to the side of the desk, and then later on down the road, not in this video, but like a while down the road i think we're gonna try to hang like the loading shelves somewhere to kind of break it up and also add more decor also yesterday got to this really cool my brother called it a cigar case i'm not gonna say it's a cigar case because it just reminds me of hawaii and the colors just made me happy so i'm gonna put all my pens and any necessities like scissors highlighters or anything that i would need to kind of store i'm gonna put in here so i thought this is gonna be really useful then one of my favorite things that we got this little plant <laughs> and we're trying to figure out what name to call it it's an aloe plant and we got the aloe plant from ikea then we also got this planner from ikea also which also complements the wood that's in everything and the same wood we have throughout our entire house so even in our kitchen, our dining room chairs, we're gonna put one of them in here because that wood complements it. But this little aloe plant <laughs> is probably one of my favorite things. And if you didn't know, you can break off the leaf of aloe plant and use it to cure like sunburns and other things. So I thought this is gonna be useful and also cute. This lamp we got from Target for, I think five? 12 bucks, oh. I thought this circle shape was cute and it looks kind of like more concrete look to it. But now we're gonna transform everything. Josh is gonna help me hang some of the stuff up. A little bit more up. Like right here. This could be off centered a little bit more like this. So babe, what are we gonna need to hang this stuff up? Or if we can just get some anchors. Okay, so we just went to the store. We grabbed these anchors and then we went to my dad's house and grabbed his power tool. Yay. So a little bit more to this side. Yeah, I like it though. 14 point so, five, so divided by two would be what? Seven point two five. Roughly about six inches. 7.25. That's the radius. Maybe. Did it actually catch? It would have fallen by now. I think it looks pretty good right there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I like it, babe. And this three before I just hang up and just bring it with nails. That's what I was thinking. Thinking this one. Here? Mm. Or do you want it lower? I don't want it to be perfectly in center with the mirror. Maybe like in line with the table or a little bit below the table. Ooh, I got an idea. Lots. Yeah, I would use it like that. Okay, let's do it right there. How about that? Looks good! Yeah? Yeah! Okay, Josh just got the mirror hung and then also the dry erase board hung. And now, at our last apartment, I hung, my mom had painted for our wedding verses that we picked out on these giant pieces of paper and we we're gonna use it. We never ended up using it as decor at the wedding. But I love, one of the verses is like my staple for me and Josh's marriage. This is one of them, Songs of Solomon. I have found the one who my soul loves. Up there it is Ruth 116. The whole verse is like, your people are my people, your home is my people. Home, basically. Where you die, I will die, your God will be my God. It's like the basic devotion of loyalty. I think we're gonna hang this up to add like a little bit of spunk on this wall. Yeah. I'm excited about this. Yeah, it's like this. Josh is over here styling the desk, so he actually put in, I got this from Amazon the other day. It's an extension cord sits right there. He put this in the center. Then he decided to put over here Florida, and then also this beauty to put all of that. And then over here is my business card. <laughs> so the only downside to this office is there's literally no light. So right up there, there's supposed to be a light. There's not a light. Every other room in the house has like a light, a fan, and it's so nice. I don't know why they missed this room for some reason. So it's either one day we're gonna have to get a light up there or they do have cute like standing lights we could put in here. Like there was one from Ikea we saw that was so cute, but it's not in our price range at this moment.
Yeah, do you like it? You like it? Hey, you guys, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> no, so <laughs> you like it in here. Are you gonna be in here a lot when I'm working? 